December 8th, 1980 was one of those bellwether moments. Everyone who's old enough remembers exactly where they were at the time. The assassination of John Lennon and the emotions that surrounded that horrible incident are really very difficult to put into words. So what I tried to do in my book, December 8th, 1980, the day John Lennon died, was take a snapshot of a very unique and very surreal day. As a New Yorker, a lifetime New Yorker, I felt a part of me had been ripped off somehow. Uh, yeah, after all, John Lennon had become one of us. We really felt that he'd adopted our city. And for the notion of somebody coming from elsewhere and killing him right in the place that he'd embraced as his home was really galling. And I wasn't the only one who felt that way. In writing the book, I interviewed New Yorkers who played a small role in December 8th, 1980, that last day of John Lennon's life. The first police officer to arrive on the scene, uh, Mayor Ed Koch, the mayor of New York at the time, and the guy who happened to be in the emergency room with a broken leg when John Lennon was wheeled in. But I also focused on John's personal and musical history, what the other Beatles were doing that day, the killer's trips back and forth to New York in the weeks leading to the crime, and what might have been. When the hardcover edition of December 8th, 1980, the day John Lennon died, came out in 2010, I began to hear stories from readers and friends about their experiences that day. One guy was up in Rhode Island with his wife and just spontaneously got in his car and drove down to John Lennon's home in Dakota to join the thousands of uh, mourners. Someone else cut high school and just got on the subway and found herself at the Dakota again in that sea of grief. And I guess there was a communal grieving that was going on, but it was very organic. I guess people everywhere are affected deeply by the death of John Lennon. Even people who weren't alive at the time still feel they know him through his music and uh, share the sadness that the rest of us do. And I guess now that the paperback edition of December 8th, 1980, the day John Lennon died, is out, I'll be hearing those stories too.